The time has finally come to share our newly fresh family room. Our home is going on 12 years and it was time to refresh the most used space in the house. What sparked the change was all because of the new flooring that we added in our kitchen and we instantly fell in love with the look, the color, and how easy it is to clean. Once the flooring was down, we immediately knew we had to carry the rest of the flooring throughout so it can be a cohesive flow. Due to our open floor plan, it just really made sense to do it from a design standpoint. The flooring is called Pelican Gray and it's vinyl plank that can be installed over most floors including your tile, concrete, and wood. It has the appearance of wood floors with realistic looking knots and graining. Then we had to add plywood to the family room so that the floor could be leveled with the kitchen and foyer. I will leave a link to this flooring in my description box. Before painting, I knew I wanted a draw-dropping design of millwork on our walls. I took a photo on Instagram and the majority of you said that I should go higher than the standard chair rail. I came across this inspiration picture on Pinterest and instantly fell in love with it. I'm so sorry you guys, I have no idea what the style or the name of it, but if someone does know, please let us know down in the comments. After all of the flooring was installed, I quickly realized we had to paint. The yellowish walls just had to go after spending an entire morning putting swatches on the walls. I initially didn't get the color I wanted. We have a ton of sunlight that enters the room and you guys, natural sunlight really changes everything about the space and it even changes the mood. I wanted grayish tones but when the natural light hits it during the day, it's like a bluish tinted color almost, but I absolutely love it anyway, and the name is called Gray Screen by Sharon Williams. Over on our stairs, we plan to remove the carpet and add new wood stair threads. Time wouldn't allow for that because it's a monster of a project, so we plan to do it after the holidays, but we did add a new box newel post, which is a key design to set the tone for the entire staircase. We have what you would call a two-sided or T-stair in our home, and it allows you to enter one side and then you can come down on the other side or you can go up and then come down into the kitchen. So we only replace the two newel posts and we will do the others, like I said, after the holidays. Talk about inviting comfort into your home without breaking the bank. This reversible chase sofa is my favorite style sofa to use in a family room or a living room. And you guys have seen my blue chase sofa that's in my living room. And we love it so much, I got another for the family room. It has a transitional style that's plush and luxurious. And yes, it's very light, but I refuse to sacrifice my love for light furnishings just because it may get dirty. Many stores offer protection and there's a lot of stain resistant fabrics that you can choose from. Our sofa was under $500 and I purchased it from a local discount store that was going out of business. I'm keeping my fall decor simple with these festive throw pillows I got three years ago from Home Goods. They're holding up beautifully and they match our new sofa perfectly. I wanted to spruce up our space, but I didn't want to sacrifice our comfort and style. With that being said, many of you have seen our recliners that are from Better Homes and Gardens and they're recliners that are sold exclusively at Walmart. I've always wanted recliners that didn't look like recliners, if you know what I mean. And I totally lucked up when I found these two beauties for $2.29 each. They're sophisticated and with the bronze nail heads, elegant enough for my taste and very comfortable. And most of all, there's no fighting over the best seat in the house. I will link these recliners in my description box. This rug has truly brought our living room to life with its geometric design that's in gray and the muted cream color. This rug is seven by nine-ish and the quality is outstanding. I will link this rug in my description box down below. One of my favorite things to do around my home is styling. When you have an open living plan, each room has to be at the same level as the rest of the house. The center of the living room is where our coffee table lives, and that's the focal point when you walk into our space. I've styled our coffee table with several candle holders that are from Home Goods, and of course a seasonal candle that has a hint of brown sugar that smells a delicious, and many of my favorite fall decor pumpkins that are from Home Goods.
Our side table is from American Signature Furniture, and I love how clean and simple this vignette is. I placed a few of my favorite ginger jars there from Home Goods, and this beautiful pearl pumpkin that you will see a lot. I got six of them. I've always loved pearls, even as a little girl, and as you can see, I still do. And this beautiful candle votive is from Burlington, and I got it for only $4. On our sofa, I placed two Goodwill lamps that were in our guest bedroom, and the faux orchid planter was a DIY that I shared last year, and I'll link that video down below. As far as artwork, I kept it simple. I believe less is more with this gold frame and the beautiful inlay inside it, and it's from At Home Stores, and I got it on clearance for $8. I get a lot of questions about my bar stools, and they are from American Signature Furniture. And they also sell them at Value City Furniture, but I'm not sure if they're still selling them. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on artwork, so I reused this picture I already had. Before, it had a lot of gold tones in it, so I used acrylic paint using blues and grays and whites to match my decor. Money saved, total win. In a previous video, I shared this pair of wooden wall art that I just love. We placed them here on the second story, right above where you would enter the kitchen. And thanks to my Shop Tagger app, I got a great deal on them. Up on our second story, there's an awkward landing space where I've placed my ginormous ginger jars. I have a total of three just like this, but for now, I only placed the two and they're from Home Goods. I will try to link these ginger jars and many of the items shown in this video. Be sure to check my description box for the links to so many of these items or something similar. I will be sharing part two of this video. It will be in our foyer. This video would have been too long so I decided to make a separate video so make sure that your bell notification is on so you don't miss out. Let me know what you like most about our family room. Good or bad I would love to know and I want to thank you all for watching.